In this video, let's take a look at component level styling in Next.js. For component level styling, Next.js supports CSS modules using a filename.module.css naming convention. Similar to global styles, the create next app generated project contains an example for component level styling. So let's first go through that and then take a look at an example ourselves. In the styles folder, you can see a file called home.module.css. This module word here is very important for Next.js. It is basically what informs Next.js that it is a CSS module. Within the file, we have a bunch of classes similar to any other CSS file that you may have written. However, there is a difference in the way you make use of these classes. In index.js within the pages folder, you can see the style sheet is imported as styles and within the JSX, we access each class using the styles object. Styles.container, styles.main, styles.title and so on. Now I'm not going to go into the specifics of CSS modules as that would be a series in itself. Rather, I just want to demonstrate that it is supported with Next.js. Having seen how CSS modules work, let's now focus on the benefit of using CSS modules. CSS modules locally scope CSS by automatically creating a unique class name which allows you to use the same CSS class name in different files without having to worry about name collision. Let's understand what I mean by that. In the styles folder, I'm going to create two new files, about.module.css and contact.module.css. In both these files, I'm going to create a highlight class but with different styles. In about.css, color will be set to red Whereas in contact.module.css, color will be blue. In about and contact pages, we can now import the corresponding CSS. So in about.js, import styles from styles folder about.module.css. And for the JSX, I'm going to return a div tag it says about page with class name is equal to styles dot highlight. Similarly, in contact.js, I'm going to import styles from styles slash contact dot module dot CSS. And for the JSX, we're going to have the same div tag with class name equal to styles.highlight but the text is contact page. If we now save all the files and head to the browser, our about page text must be in red color and the contact page text is in blue color. As you can see, the same CSS class name, highlight, in both files can be used to apply different styles in different pages. The example here might not be the most practical one, but you as the developer don't have to worry that someone else has used the same class name for some other component. The styles are applied only at a component level. You also don't have to worry about global style sheets having similar class names as CSS modules won't collide with global class names either. So the takeaway from this video is that Next.js supports CSS modules for component level styling. CSS modules locally scope CSS, allowing you to use the same class name in different files without having to worry about name collision. All right, thank you all for watching and I'll see you in the next video.